Today, let's talk all about being more efficient with your podcast transcripts with time and money. Podcasting, training and development. Hey there, podcaster. My name is Ashan Man, radio broadcaster, podcaster, and a podcast producer. And today's video is brought to you by my essential equipment guide to getting started with a podcast. If you are thinking about starting a podcast, or maybe you have been doing some research right here on YouTube about starting a podcast, well, I have all of your answers for you. I have an essential equipment guide that will help you with those first steps of starting a podcast. The link for that is down in the description below. Go ahead and give it a look. And of course, it's a free download for, for you so you can get started. And if you have questions, you can always reach out to me. So in today's video, we are talking about how to maximize your time and your money with transcripts for your podcast. Now, as of this recording, three years ago, back in 2017, I did a video on transcriptions for your podcast. If you're not familiar with familiar with the idea of why we would do transcriptions for a podcast, I recommend that you go ahead and click that link up here on your card of the screen of YouTube, and you can learn more all about transcri transcribing your podcast and what it is used for. But for the rest of you who have been transcribing your podcast, or maybe you've been thinking about, well, maybe I need to get back into transcriptions, but it just costs too much money to get those transcripts done. Well, maybe I have an answer for you today. We are going to be doing a side by side of what it might cost using one service over the other. Uh, I typically don't like to do these uh, types of videos because I don't like to say that I favor one over the other. However, I do know that what I am about to share with you today will definitely help you maximize your time if you are someone who is getting serious about transcribing your podcast. So the video that I did in 2017, all those rules still apply. I talked about using services like rev.com and you can still get those done through rev.com. So you're uploading your audio in to a service like rev.com and you're having everything transcribed. And just as a brief note, when it comes down to getting your podcast transcribed, this is all about being discovered. More podcasters want to get discovered with their podcast, but they think that it's all done through Apple Podcasts and showing up on other people's podcasts. And don't get me wrong, those are areas that you can utilize to get more visibility of your podcast. But when it comes to people searching out specific uh, words on Google, your podcast might be the one that pops up that people will listen to. That's why I always encourage podcasters to get transcriptions. Now, if you don't have a website, then I recommend that you go into something like Buzzsprout. Now, this is a service that I constantly talk about. You know they are a sponsor of the show, but this, the reason why I bring up Buzzsprout is because they have a section on their service inside the actual uh, back end of the website where you can put your transcriptions so that you can get discovered by Google. This is a huge tool that I think a lot of podcasters are missing out on. There are fields inside of Buzzsprout that most people aren't using that I think that you should be using. And it's just not Buzzsprout people aren't putting filling out these fields. It's all these other podcast hosting providers that people are using. So I recommend that you actually go with Buzzsprout because they have the most comprehensive and all the useful tools that you would be using to get your podcast discovered. If you want to try Buzzsprout for free for 90 days, there's a link down there in the description below where you can go ahead and you can get started uh, today, or you could just head on over to buzzsprout.com. But I would definitely use it for that transcription uh, service uh, field so that you can get your podcast discovered. So let's jump on over. We're going to be doing a PowerPoint presentation today, and we are going to talk all about the differences between uh, Rev and Descript. Now, Descript is something that I have been using a lot more, but you know, you might still be using Rev, and that's completely okay. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and jump on over to the screen right now, and let's get started. So uh, let's first start with Rev. Now, everything that I mentioned in that 2017 video about using Rev uh, for rough draft transcriptions still applies. You can still go over to Rev.com and get rough drafts of your transcripts for 25 cents per minute. That's a still a pretty affordable uh, price to getting your podcast transcribed. Now, they will include filler words with the transcript, and the accuracy rate is about 80% accurate. And I would say that this is uh, this service is actually one of the best when it comes down to the accuracy of getting your words transcribed if you're uploading audio into rev.com. But here's the deal. When it comes down to you doing a podcast transcription for a podcast that is, say, one hour long, it might cost you, so if it's one hour long, it's probably gonna cost you about $15 to get that whole transcript of your one hour podcast. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's $15, uh, but it is worth it down the line if you're getting your 
uh, your podcast indexed on Google. And of course, you're setting yourself up or your website up for different types of conversions, having people take different actions. So if you're getting a lot of traffic to that particular web page, just because the transcription's on your website, it might be worth it. At the end of the day, if you're doing say three to four, let's just say three podcast transcriptions per month, you would be spending $45 with an AI uh, transcript that is done with 80% accuracy, but you're only getting the transcripts and there's nothing wrong with that. You're just getting the transcripts. Now, the cool thing with Rev is that you get a specific little player once the transcript is completely transcribed. You jump into their service and they have a little player where you plus press play. And then of course, once you press play, you hear your audio being played. And then of course, on the right hand side of the screen, you're getting a, uh, you know, a, a highlight of all the words uh, that are being said in the audio that you can hear. And then you can go in and you can start cleaning up the audio so that it is more accurate for your website. Now, one of the things with Rev is that you are not getting filler words uh, removed. You can go into Rev and you can highlight or write out specific words and search them out and say, oh, I don't want these words included in my transcript. You can definitely do that, but you know it doesn't come included with the service. Nothing wrong with that, it's not a big deal, all right? So that's what you're gonna be getting with Rev.com. Now, let's jump on over to Descript. Now, I mentioned at the beginning of this video that I like to do things where I like to create one piece of content and then maximize my time, right? So let's look right here at this particular plan with Descript. Now, they have three different plans. They have a free, then they have, of course, a creator and then a pro account that you can use. So we'll start with the creator account. The creator account is gonna cost you $12 a month annually. That means you're gonna pay $144 a month, uh, or I'm sorry, $144 a year uh, all up front so that you get access to all the tools with Descript. So under this creator account, um, that's what you would be getting. Now, if you wanted to pay month to month, you're totally welcome to do that. It's gonna be $15 a month. You can cancel at any time. But what you get with this plan is unlimited projects, uh, which means that you can upload particular projects or create projects directly inside of Descript and you don't have to worry about uh, using up you know, certain spaces with your projects, but you get unlimited projects and you get screen recording. A lot of content creators are now using screen recording for their podcast. So this is something that uh, you might be interested in using. So maybe you're trying to figure out how to get quality screen recordings or you need to do tutorials. You get that with your creator account. That is unlimited as well. You get 10 hours of rough draft transcripts. That is something that I think is really cool. So if you're spending and you know you're spending that money, $12 a month annually. So let's say you spend $144 a year uh, with Descript's creator plan, you're saving yourself money already, okay? If you're doing 10 hours of rough draft transcripts. As I mentioned in the Rev plan, you could do three transcripts at 60 minutes and that's still going to cost you $45 okay so you're still you're, you're you're saving money already now with a pro account you can go $24 a month annually so you could go there or you could sp you could spend monthly if you want to you get everything in creator but you get this thing called filler words pro and one of the things that I think is really impressive with the script is that they give you the ability to uh, find the filler words and then automatically remove them once you see the transcript of your podcast. I've done a video on this. I'll leave a link for that down in the description below or I'll actually leave a uh, you know a, a card that comes up flying out on this screen right here if you wanna check out that tutorial that I did. But what you also get with a pro account are Audiograms Pro. You can create audiograms to share on social, but get this. You get 30 hours of rough transcripts that you can go in, you can edit up, and then, of course, clean up and use them to put on your website or put them inside of something like Buzzsprout. That's what I think is really cool. So you're spending less money, way less money with your transcripts. So this is something that I think is really interesting. You're getting more tools to utilize in Descript than you are with Rev. Now, if you're just a casual transcriber, then yeah, you probably wanna use Rev.com if you're just a, tra a casual transcriber. But if you're someone who is very adamant you know, like do as I say, not as I do. Uh, I'm actually working on getting more transcripts on my website of the podcast that I have done for the podcast therapist. So me using something like Descript is far more cost effective for me than using something like Rev. It's more cost effective for me to go in and remove all those words, have the timestamps uh, placed inside of Descript, and then of course, taking all those time steps down and putting them on my website. I'm doing the same whenever I put them inside of Buzzsprout 
as well. So you can go ahead and, um, and, and maximize your time that way. If you want to learn more about Descript and get started with Descript, the link on your screen is where you can go to shanman.tips slash Descript. There's also going to be a link down in the description of this YouTube video if you want to learn more about Descript. But if you're asking me and you're getting serious about putting transcripts on your website, this is the way to go. I would say go with Descript. You're also getting the ability to create um, video, you can edit video, you can upload video directly into Descript. This is something that I'm playing with right now and I wanna do a future YouTube tutorial on how I'm using video to create promotional micro content for my podcast, The Podcast Therapist. So make sure you're subscribing to this channel on the button below of this video so you subscribe to this channel so you, and hit the bell notification so you can get notified when I drop that video. But I will be doing tutorials more about Descript and the use uh, case uses that you can use them for with your podcast. So if you like this video, go ahead and leave it a thumbs up and of course hit the subscribe button and the little bell notification so you can get notified when I drop a brand new video on this YouTube channel. And let me hear from you. I wanna hear how you are doing transcripts. Well, number one, are you doing transcripts for your podcast? And if you are, go ahead and leave a comment down below and tell me how you're using them. Maybe you're getting your transcripts through otter.ai. Maybe you're doing them through rev.com. Maybe you're doing them some other way. You tell me how you're doing it. And of course, share those thoughts so that you can help other podcasters learn from you, not only from me, but from you as well. And then of course, if you're not doing transcripts, tell me why you're not doing transcripts. Is it a time versus money thing? I'd love to hear what you have to say. And of course, share this video with a friend who could use the help with their podcast or podcasting tips. I would really appreciate it. So in the meantime, thank you so much for watching this week. I really appreciate it. I will be talking to you next time. Take care.